The Motor Spirit is in Daytona Beach at the Daytona International Speedway for the Roar before the Rolex 24. It's test weekend before the Rolex 24 hours here at the end of January. The Daytona Speedway is big, 180 acres and over 100,000 grandstand seats. Course distance is about three and a half miles and lap times run a little more than a minute and a half. As compared to that other 24-hour race, Le Mans is eight miles and lap times run a little over three minutes and over 200,000 people show up. Both races are tough, but Daytona can be grueling, running in January as almost half the race is at night, as compared to Le Mans, where it's still light at 10 p.m. Although the Daytona infield has lights, the infield has an elevation of like running around in a target parking lot. Daytona this year, and the season for that matter, looks to be good. IMSA's new Daytona Prototype Internationals, or DPI, are using Le Mans LMP2 chassis, and their entries from Mazda, Cadillac, and Nissan. Looking like Le Mans prototypes, they aren't qualified to run there because of various complex sanctioning technicalities and politics. Production-based GTLM cars, like Porsche, Corvette, and the limited production Ford GT, are good for Le Mans. This year, the IMSA field has Acura, AMG Mercedes-Benz, Lexus, BMW, and Lamborghini. Part of the picture is IMSA's balance of performance formula for competitive parity, or BOP. Factors like weight, air fuel flow, fuel cell size are put in some Byzantine scheme, which can sometimes give new meaning to BOP, bias of politics. After all, the Daytona Speedway IMSA, the race's sanctioning body, and NASCAR are owned by the same corporation who consider themselves an entertainment company with a motorsports theme, like Six Flags with race cars. They're not immune to criticism of yellow flag engineering for the good of the show, and any flat surface without a brand name on it is considered a marketing opportunity. Viewership of motorsports on television, from Formula One, IndyCar to NASCAR, which could improve with the 2017 Monster Energy Drink sponsorship, is becoming a solitary event, a private club. For the Rolex 24, you'll have to scavenge for the channels. The race begins with Fox Sports, then switches to FS1, then switches again to FS2. Something must be important conflicting with Sunday afternoon's race finish, 
not to close back on Fox Sports. If you want to come to Daytona, the race is right around the corner, so hotel rooms may be hard to snare. But for those of you who have planes, you can fly in. The airport is right next to the speedway. It will cost about $100 for fees and parking of your plane. If you are interested in coming to Florida for one of the early in the year races, Daytona or Sebring, first nod would be Sebring in March. It's right after Amelia Island and it has just tons of atmosphere. Daytona is impressive with its high banks, size, and reverberating sounds reminiscent of World War II fighter planes.